Hello. Hey, this is David with Mudslinger Pottery. I'm out here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm out in my studio, which is my back porch. And I am working on bread bowls today. So I threw these the other day. And now I'm adding handles to the sides. So I'm just going to show you how I do that and how I make them a little bit different. And I, uh, when I make these, obviously it's round from the, uh, the wheel, but I like to put four corners on there. I think it just adds a little something to it and it's a little different from what somebody else might be selling. So if you can uh, add something that makes it a little different, makes it a little special, I'm all for that. So they used to be round, but now I work on them squared off. So I'm, I'm rolling out a coil here and I am going to add a handle to either side, two sides of the, of the pot. So let me turn the camera down a little bit and you'll be able to see a little bit better of what I'm doing here. Okay, so I use a board and I will dampen it just, just a little bit. And it seems to help rolling out these coils. The other thing I'll do when I'm uh, doing coils or handles is I will use reclaimed clay. I try to get it a little bit drier. I don't want wet clay right out of the bag for these handles. Um, it's just harder to work with. It's harder to make a coil. And adding something wet to a leather hard piece is just a little more difficult for cracking and um, separating from the pot because it's going to move more than the, the pot you're putting it on. So if I get the clay that's closer to the same hydration level of my handle to my pot, then it's uh, more likely to work better. Okay, so I am, if you can see this here, I'm adding a handle to, to two sides. So I need one about so long. So one, two, I've got enough clay here. It's a little fat, I'm gonna skinny this up a little bit. I love how adding a handle really dresses up the pot. I think it just adds a lot to the look of the pot. And the other thing it'll do is you're generally going to have, I mean, pretty much always, you're generally going to have a little more weight in the bottom of your pot. So by adding a handle, I'm adding a little bit of weight higher up on the pot. So when you pick up the pot, it has a little bit more of a balanced feel. Clean up that spot right there. Okay, so here's, here's the trick that I do. I have a, a, a rib that has a serrated edge. And what I can do is create a pattern on my on my handle. So I'll just show you how I do this. Real simple. Let's take the serrated edge, start one side, and just roll it across. And it's not much. Doesn't take but a minute. But it's easy to see which is which is the better looking piece of clay right there. Um, what's nice about it too is when I glaze the pot, the glaze will pull in these, these holes and just create a little, a little bit of a texture, a little bit of something for the eye to see. So I take these, I curve them just a little bit. And squeeze down the ends. Now 
And these are kind of like the tabs that will fit on the side of my pot here. Okay, on to the pot. Okay, so I'm just gonna add it to the side of this pot, one on either side. Sometimes I'll add it up here, make it look a little more basket-like. But for this one, I'm gonna go down in here and just put it like right there. So here's the trick I use. I take a, a scratching tool. Everybody's got their different ones. And I am just gonna take some water and scratch up where I'm going to attach this to my bread bowl. And basically I'm creating a slip and also scoring it at the same time. Okay, so now I find the spot I want and just push this on without giving a whole lot of pressure. I'm just basically setting it on there. So now I can pull this off and I can see exactly where I have that handle set. And now I can score this section using a little bit of water so I'm making a little bit of slip there but I'm only scoring the section that the handles going to to touch so I don't have a lot of marks that I'm gonna have to clean up later Add that to the side. Now I'm putting a little bit more pressure. I'm trying to do some even pressure on here. I want it attached, but I don't want to push so hard that I'm going to push the uh, relief pattern that I've got in that handle out. And then what I do is I clean up that end, a little bit of water, and make it look like it just came right off the pot on both sides. So there it is, got a little handle, got a little relief, easy peasy. And then the other thing I will do is I will make a small hole here, small hole here. I started this a while back because I wanted something to make it look like um, the pot had something holding it on, a bolt, a rivet, whatever you want to call it, a little button on there. So I just make a little ball, get a little water on here, score it, score my, my divot here, and put that right in there. So there's one. Make another little ball. Try to make them about the same size. Score this. Score the divot, and then add the little button. And once again, I'm, I'm not pushing really hard. I'm just trying to get that handle on there. So there's the results. Now what I'll do is when I glaze this, the glaze will pull in there. So you'll still see some of that pattern, but I'll also glaze the two buttons red so they'll pop. It's kind of become a thing for me. And apparently there's some people that like that, so that's what my that's just one of my things now. So once again, I'm I'm scoring this, but I'm adding some water to it, so it's creating a little bit of slip. But only on the areas where it's going to attach. Let me get it over here so you can see it here. So it's only gonna be scored on the area where it's gonna be attached to the pot. So I'm going to go to the opposite side of the pot, do the same thing here, line this up, kind of take a look at it. There we go. And I can, because I've just basically just touched this to the pot, I can pull that off and not mess it up. And it's got that slip right where I want it to know where that handle's going to go. 
So I, same thing, I add a little bit of water to my scratching tool, which creates a little bit of slip on the side of the pot. I'll go back here and just scratch this one more time, add a little bit more water. And now I'm ready to add that to the bowl. So gently pushing this on here. If I push too hard, I'm gonna just squeeze that relief right out of there, which is not what I wanna do. And then I will go in and push these ends into the side of the pot so it looks like it just kind of grows right out of the pot. Squeeze this in a little bit more. I've got a little bit of slip that's kind of pulled up here. I can kind of clean up a little bit. Okay, so now I add my little hole, get a piece of clay for my button. And just make a round ball. Score the button. Score the button hole. And put that in there. I got one. Need a little more clay here. Just a little bit of clay, making just a little bit more here. Make it the same size as the other one. And just roll that into a ball. Once again, slip and score it. I gotta get over here. Put my little hole right there with my finger. And then put the two together. Just squeeze it in there to make sure it stays. So there it is. I've got a bread bowl with two handles, make it a little easier to pick up. And these are fun. You can take, uh, um, you can make beer bread with them. So, and I put a little recipe card that I stick in there when I go to shows. And it's beer, flour, sugar, and melted butter. And you'll mix the beer, flour, sugar together, put it in the bowl, melt the butter, put it on top, and put the whole bowl with the bread in the oven. And it comes out with a really thick, rich sourdough type bread, which is just perfect for chili or a big bowl of soup, because it's really thick. It's not as much yeast in the, the, the beer as there would be if you were making a normal piece of bread. So I'm just gonna go in here, I clean it up a little bit. If I see any marks or any issues, kind of take a look at these handles, make sure they're on there well. And I'm ready to go. Let me move this back a little bit. So there it is, bread bowl. Hope you can give it a try. They do sell well. And if you add that recipe for beer bread, which you can find online, that's where I found it, um, it just adds a little something and people think they have to have that to make their bread in. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, this has been David with Mudslinger Pottery. Thanks for joining me. Hope you got something out of it. Hope maybe you can uh, go try some different handles. And there's a lot you can do with those. I mean, you can change it up. That's just one idea. That's how what I do. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. If you really enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And I will keep uh, trying to add new YouTube videos, new ideas, and some of the things that I do. And maybe it'll help you in your pottery journey. So thanks again. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.